Hey guys, so this is my first ever tutorial on my channel. Um, I'm fairly new to this. I've done it years and years ago um, on a really old channel of mine. Um, but I hope you guys can learn something from this tutorial. Uh, nonetheless, let's get started. So today, as you can see, we're going to be doing a topography effect in under five minutes. <clears throat> so effectively, what a topography, or a topography um, effect is, is just the contour lines that you would see on the likes of a map um, like you can see in the background so I'm just going to be showing you guys how to make an effect exactly like this exactly like that and it literally takes minutes um, to create so we're just gonna hide the text hide the um, contour lines that I've already made just as for this example uh, and the first thing we want to do is we want to create a new layer and we want to go up to filter render clouds and you'll see that it automatically randomly generates some clouds for us now uh, i don't actually like these so i'm going to convert this to a smart object and then i'm going to redo it um, and what converting this to a smart object does is allows me to um, just effectively regenerate them by simply double clicking on the uh, clouds button down here this looks pretty good um, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually duplicate this layer by doing Control J on the keyboard um, and then I'm gonna generate some more elsewhere something like that will work and then I'm gonna change it to an overlay um, blend mode Then I'm gonna select both of them hold Control E to merge them and I'm going to convert them to a smart object like so. Go up to filter, blur, Gaussian blur, anywhere between 10 to 20, even 25 works. Um, it's a solid number, but in this instance, I'm going to do 15. Once we've done that, we, went, we then want to go to image adjustments, posterize, and this is where we actually start to get the contour shape that we're going for. Now, the lower the, lower the levels, um, the less contour lines you're going to have. Um, and the higher, the more contour lines you're going to have. So I'm going to go for around 12. 12 is a pretty comfortable number. Gives you a solid selection of various um, contour lines um, or top topography lines um, to really get that effect. Um, once we've done that, we then want to go to Filter, Stylize, Find Edges. And as you can see, we've already got that topography look that we were wanting. It's literally that simple. Um, and then it's just a case of playing with the plan modes until you find something that suits your composition. So let's say overlay, lower the opacity a bit, pop the text on there, and then you've got your final product. Hope you guys enjoyed, hope this helped. Um, really basic tutorial. If you guys could like, share, uh, and subscribe, that would be greatly appreciated. Um, but nonetheless, um, I'll catch you guys later. Peace.